we're delighted to welcome uh, Tamworth uh, left back Steph Morley uh, into the sponsors lounge today. Obviously, uh, not too pleased to be here because of his injury. I uh, much prefer to be out there getting wet and cold and stuff like that. But uh, in the warm, to answer a few questions for us, Steph. So we're really pleased you could join us. Um, uh, we were just talking about the and uh, things aren't going as well with your recovery as you thought. Um, not at the minute. In the game against Bradley, um, I had a bit of an impact injury, um, so I've got a dead, dead quad, so I'm getting a bit of stick from the lads because normally a dead quad takes about two days to recover from, but um, it just it seems to be quite a severe one, and there's, I've been to the hospital, there's like internal bleeding, so the bruise is just getting worse and worse at the minute, but it's getting, I've been to the gym today, been on the bike, it's getting better, but still no strength again really, so a couple more weeks probably. Have you had it, have you had it before? No, first time. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you, you normally sort of slide your arm over and do Thailand, don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Last year, yeah. Nearly lost my hand Thailand. So. Yeah, so, so certainly you, you get the injuries which kick you out longer than you, than you think. So a bit, bit of a blow, really. So we, we certainly wish you all the best with the recovery. That it's speedy. And, uh, but it's a chance now for you to sort of, sort of spill the beans on uh, what, what you think of the season so far. So in terms of performances and... and, and what you've been playing in or what you've watched. Well, what's your views on the season so far? It's, from us, it's very up and down. Yeah, I think, I think the whole feeling around the whole club's a bit, there's a bit too inconsistent, really. We went, we've not really gone on a run where we've won three or four games, we win one, draw one, then we'll lose a couple of win. There's not really any consistency. Um, I'm not sure why that is. I think, I think we play better at home. Um, I think the style of football we're playing good, but points, you know, points get you in the playoffs and sometimes we'll play well, pass the ball well, we'll, we'll do well but we'll still get beat at the end of the game and you're not going to get in the playoffs by doing that, are you? So. No, not at all. And, and obviously perhaps there's been lots of injuries to, to centre-halves and there's been different defence formations to get used to. Has that played a part in, in some of it as well? Um, I'm not too sure because we've got a lot of lads who can play different positions. Um, I think, I think the lads prefer to play 3-4-3 three, three or 3-5-1, three, however you see it. But um, but then last year when we played 4-4-2, four, four, we done well. So it's, I don't think it's anything to do with that. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's a tricky one really. Because we, we can see so many set these goals and some terrible goals we can see when you look back at the videos that we watch, we watch again. The highlights of the games on the Thursday night, and, yeah. and when we look back at this, you lot, you lot see it in the game, but it's, some of it is terrifying. <laughs> yeah, you cringe, <laughs> and it just, yeah, yeah. Okay, frustrating, no doubt. But uh, going back to probably the game which you really starred in was back in August with the two goals against Curzon and, and Ashton. That just flew off your, well, two, both goals flew off your left foot sweetly, didn't they? Well, yeah, um, I don't think I've done that again since. But I've had a couple of shots. People uh, keep shouting, shoot at you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I've always had that when I, whenever I've, nah. wherever I've been, everyone's just said, if I get in the final third, just, just whack it. Yeah. It's a, I'd say my left foot's like a hammer foot, so I'll just whack it. And, um, yeah, since then, I don't really think I've, I don't know. That game was quite, I got a lot of the ball that game. Yes, you did. Um, in wide areas, so. But I think teams now that since that was early on, I think teams now they've wised up to how we play, so they sort of matches up, so you don't yes. get that sort of space. So yeah, um, I hope they can do something similar before the end of the season. Yes, we certainly hope so too. It'd be great to see another one flying off the left foot because that was the first one, particularly the second one was a free kick, but the first one particularly was a was a stunning goal. Maybe go down as a goal of the season. You never know. Yeah. You never know. So. You talked about the lads giving you some stick, but well, it's your opportunity now. Because what we tend to do now with, with the players coming over is we ask a, a few to sort of your thoughts on the others in terms of a few characteristics. And uh, we, we, we've asked a standard set so we can build up a picture, maybe which we can bring in at the end of the season awards, maybe. Uh, but uh, who gets the most votes? But we, we, we're asking to who in your mind is the best trainer in the club, the one who works hardest in training. 
there's only one lad. I think every single lad would say the same thing. Is it Bounty? Yeah. Absolutely, yes, we've got, yes. The, yes, we've got that one. <laughs> he probably lives the furthest from the club. But he's always the first one here, and he's always the last one to leave. He's like, he's, I think he loves the club. I think he'd rather live here than where he lives now. <laughs> but yeah, he's a true, true professional, Bounty is. Fantastic. And um, we, we're actually getting a contender for the next question, but they went and left the club. Um, you'll probably guess who that was when I say, ask the question. Who moans the most? <laughs> well, I did moan the most with Starchy. Star <laughs> no. So yeah, it was Starchy, yeah. A lot, lot of people said uh, uh, D League, but there we go. <laughs> uh, uh, what the lads did? Yeah, some of them said oh, D League. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, no, I'm quite close to Dean, so. Be <laughs> yeah, careful what you say. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, who moans the most? I'd say Jonah. Jonah has a good moan. It's a good moan. Only, not moaning, but you, you can hear his voice a lot in training and games. So. Yeah. Oh, right. Cool. <laughs> Jonah. Uh, that's a first vote for Jonah. On that as one. he should as a skipper. Yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> who's, who's your ex fastest player in the world? Um, <coughs> I think he looks faster than he is because his legs are that small, but probably Pauli. Pauli, yeah. Yeah, super. And the slowest? Um, it's got to be. Oh, can't kill my car school. Uh, I'll probably put Jonah up there. Jonah, yes, yes, he's getting a few votes for that. And um, who spends the longest time in the shower? Um, you can say yourself if you like it, it's true. No, <laughs> Burma. Burma? Yeah, yeah. We, we finished training at half nine and he has a 25 minute shower and I'm waiting for him to come to so go home. <laughs> he, he has face wash, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, brings soap, exfoliating gloves a lot. He is, oh, that's on video. Uh, he, I don't know he's got no gloves, but he, he does. He's, he's 31, but he, does, he still looks about 22. <laughs> Down to his regime, I think. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. So, um, we, we've, we get quite a few uh, similarities on the votes for this one, but who's got the worst car in the club? Worst car? Um, I'd probably say Sam Coulson. Sam Coulson? All oh, right. Oh, First yeah. vote for Sam. Um, a lot of people said Bradley Reed. Oh, yeah. Reed, Reed his car's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Reed he drives his Mrs. Car, I think. Reed has got <laughs> some. If it's, have you seen it? No, no, I've seen it. It's like a two-seater Vauxhall Tigra or something like that. It's, it's, but Sam Coulson's car's probably older than I am, and it's, uh, it's terrible. It's Clio, Renault Clio. Sorry if anyone's got a Clio, but it's a bastard. <laughs> Brilliant. And the final question is um, in, in terms of who gets fined the most because they're so late all the time? Callum Powell. Callum Powell. And uh, again, a lot of consistency. Not just lateness. We have fines for like social media and stuff when he's always going on about himself on social media. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Callum Powell. Yeah, when we asked Callum that question, he said he was me. <laughs> That's brilliant. A question there for that young now, man. Do you find any difference with playing on what's a lot of that turf where you've got going on the grass? Do you find that great? Um, Great question just for the video was um, so to get the question. Do you see a difference between playing the three G and, and, and going on turf? Yeah, there is a, there is quite a difference. I mean, the lads when we play at home, obviously we move the ball better, I'd say. But then when we go into grass, like just it feels a lot different when you're running. It feels a lot heavier on your legs. Um, and I think all the lads would say the same thing. Yeah. Well, what do you prefer? The three G. Yeah. Now. I do, yeah. yeah. At the start, I didn't. It's a bit of a backbreaker when you're yeah. <laughs> playing all the time, but I prefer the, the 3G now, yeah, to the, the passing and stuff. Yeah. Fantastic. Lovely. Well, thanks ever so much, Steph, and we wish you all well with your recovery. Thank you. Thank you.